Hey, what's going on? Travis Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So guys, as it's Friday, Friday high day, Friday, you know, Friday fun day or whatever, um, I'm going to hit you guys up with a reading to give you a little guidance for the weekend, to get the weekend off to a good start. Send you guys some blessings to begin with. Peace, love, light, oneness, unity, abundance, health, forgiveness, acceptance, all that good stuff. Hope everyone has a has had a good week and um, let's bring that positive energy into the weekend so I'm just going to give you guys a general reading um, for all the star signs from Aries all the way to Pisces and um, it's going to be a timeless reading my readings are timeless anyway so um, when you come across this video it's for you and if any of you are interested in a personal reading um, you can send me a, a email um, or you can send me a DM on Instagram. I'm pretty active on Instagram. So if you want to get in contact pretty quickly um, Yeah, Instagram I would advise Instagram and I'm gonna put all my information in the drop-down menu and at the end of every video as well um, To just see what's um, Yeah, so you can guys can get in contact with me and if you guys got any questions or feeling a little lost on your journey and just need a bit of um, um, that someone to talk to or whatever you can hit the comments or you can email me as well because I'm here to be of service and it's about building um, connections and community and oneness and all that so um, if you've got any questions about if you're experiencing any um, any stuff on your on your journey um, yeah hit me up man because I've been there and I know what it's like when you're feeling a little lost or whatever um, and no I don't charge for them ones as well like we're, we're having a conversation and chatting um, so yeah, let's um, let's see where this reading's gonna go, um, and I do a nine card spread as well, and also um, hit the little bell thingy as well because I like to. Sometimes I do a spontaneous um, live as well, um, so you guys can get some guidance straight away. And also on Instagram, I usually do a card of the day. That I do like card of the day. Just I pick one card and. Um, just as a little bit of guidance for that day. All right, so let's see what's popping. Okay, the first card you've got is Crown Chakra. And then the card says, pay attention to your ideas um, as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in, sent in answer to your prayers so some of you may be having a lot of crown chakra activity going on you may be getting a lot of downloads you may be getting um like vibrating in the head you may be getting a lot of headaches um some of these may have a blocked crown chakra as well and need to balance out your crown chakra if you haven't got if you've got a blocked crown chakra um you're going to be not disconnected from source but your connection is going to be um somewhat distorted so you won't be able to get clear messages you may feel like um you're feeling blocked um what else yeah you just feel like you don't know your purpose in life you don't know you don't feel spiritually connect connected um uh, I'm not it's not that I don't know about the crown chakra but the crown chakra that's like the one of the highest chakras to deal with um so you may want to if you've got a lot of um crown chakra activity going on you need to work on your root chakra to ground in the energy because if you're getting a lot of stimulating up here it's gonna it needs to go through the whole the whole chakra system just to let you guys know um clear quartz is a good crystal for the crown chakra as well um what else is good for the crown chakra and there's certain fragrances and incense that stimulate the crown chakra as well um just to let you guys know so if you're experiencing a lot of um Activity in the crown chakra. Um, I try to say to go out and ground. Put, put your feet on Mother Earth, and then that will ground the energy straight down from the crown all the way through all the chakras to the root chakra, and then the energy will come out your feet, so you feel more connected. Um, the next card is Ascended Masters, and then the card says, "Power, powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over." over and guiding you so some of these are working some of these are of very high vibration and are working with ascended masters jesus buddha um yash well yashua is jesus um i forgot the hindu god 
Gandhi and all them ascended masters, yeah, basically they come down to show us the way and instead of um, humans, muggles, um, saying, um, saying, oh yeah, he's leading an example, I can be like him, you know, when they say we're expressions of God, yeah, that's where the expression comes from, we're expressions of God, we are God-like, God is internal, not external, yeah, um, so yeah, instead of we humans think saying, oh, we can be like him, they just put him on the pedestal and started worshipping him, um, the ascended masters anyway, so yeah, some of you are working with ascended, um, ascended masters, some of you need to work on the crown chakra as well, and be open to more guidance from them, um, and ask questions, because you may get guidance, and um, ask who you, are, who you are working with, because, um, who did I get, who was I channeling, I channeled Yashua, I think, um, I channeled Yashua, and I think I've, I channeled um, Gaia, um, I'm, I'm not sure who else, and Adam, but there are other ascended masters out there, like the, um, the energy is limitless, and there's different, there's been different masters sent over the years and the eons to wake up the masses and they keep coming. Um, so yeah, just be open to receive messages from, from higher beings as well. Some of these may be able to channel as well and are very, of very high vibration. Some of these need to work on your heart chakra, your throat chakra and your crown chakra. And the next card is heart chakra. <laughs> and then the card says, the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So yeah, some of you need to work on the heart chakra. Um, the collective heart chakra is mainly blocked um, or unblocking because yeah, the, the, the heart chakra has taken a beating over the years um, due to past relationships, hurts, um, mistrust and all that. Um, but doesn't mean you need to close down your, your heart chakra just because you've had issues in the past doesn't mean everyone's going to be like that and it doesn't mean the pattern needs to keep repeating unless you're not unless you're not doing the inner work then the pattern's going to keep repeating but if you're doing the inner work the patterns will change and the lessons will get different because you start becoming more aware of what you are allowing and start knowing your self-worth and you you start um, being okay, being vulnerable around certain people, it's, it's okay, you've got to use your discernment because, um, yeah, some people, there's energy vampires and shit out there, but um, yeah, not everyone is the same as the past, the, the ego likes to think everyone's going is the same, but they, 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 not everyone is the same, yeah, um, yeah, all right. So yeah, some of you need to work with rose quartz as well. Um, I like clear quartz because clear quartz will unblock uh, it, all the chakras. So if you're working, got a blocked throat chakra, put clear quartz on your throat chakra, um, any of the chakras and it will unblock it or rebalance the chakra. Um, so I recommend clear quartz as well. Um, but yeah, rose quartz for the heart chakra or green avatrine as well but yeah work on the heart chakra guys the heart chakra is where the human and the divine meet your lower chakras are the human chakras as i call them and then the higher chakras are the divine chakras as i call them and then the next card is past life issues and then the card says this situation has a bias in one of your previous past your la previous lifetimes ask your angels to help you remember release learn and heal from your past experiences so some of you may have got energy cords attached to past lives that are stopping you in this lifetime um so say for instance for me i was killed um from having sharing my gifts in the past lifetime like my insight and my guidance and my healing abilities so um i w had my throat slit and i was dragged by a horse and cart um around around the town or city um so that um stopped me speaking out in this lifetime so i've been working on that and doing cord cutting from the past and other lifetimes so go on youtube do a little cord cutting meditation and then um, what i like to do is close your eyes and i say i call back all my energy from um past present um, from the past um and the future and all other lifetimes and then just take a deep breath and then feel all your energy rush back, call your energy back, pull it back, and sever any Arch Archangel Michael to sever any energy cords that um, that no longer serve you. Um, and that was just an example. So yeah, if you've got a, um, 
if you're feeling that you can't speak up, you're feeling unconfident, that may not be because of this lifetime. This may be from a previous lifetime and you've got trauma stored um, from that in your, your, your soul remembers, if that makes sense. So that's why the body struggles to, the, the physical body struggles to um, adjust to certain things. It has memory. Memory is deep in the cells, you know. So yeah, some of you need to work on some cord cutting. Um, the next card is cancel, clear and delete. And then the card says, use your positive words and thoughts as you're rapidly manifesting into into form ask the angels to cancel the effects of any past negative thinking so yeah you're being called to kind of eliminate anything that is no longer serving you um in your soul's evolution so p things need to be cancelled things need to be let go of um changes need to be made like if certain people ain't serving your highest good delete their number if people are um bringing down your energy and um not being of not of of not not serving you in a good way or for your highest purpose you need to just distance yourself from them because where you're going not everyone else is going and you're not going where everyone else is going um so it's important to and it's also important to guard your thoughts at this time because thoughts are manifesting into reality very rapidly um so what you think you create so the universe is just going to deliver so whether it's positive or negative the universe is going to deliver so i would recommend affirmations and meditating at this time and grounding is very important because the energies are coming in and they're very intense yeah they're very intense and some of these are very guarded and you need to not be so guarded. Not everyone is out to attack and hurt you. Because you've been hurt in the past, it's okay. Um, but not everyone is the same and is willing, is looking to do you harm. Some of these are also healers and are Reiki masters. So you may want to check out doing Reiki. Because you've got, if your hands and feet get very hot for no reason, that's the energy stimulating through your hands and it's trying to come out. So if that starts happening, if you feel like you've got any blockages in your body, um, put your hands there and just breathe it in and you'll feel the energy heat up that chakra. Then the next card is, look, cord cutting. <laughs> Cut your cords. That's what I just said. <laughs> Use look. <laughs> yeah. And then the card says, ask, ask, ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships um freeing you from destructive patterns so yeah like i was saying you need to sever any cords that no longer serve you so you may have energy cords to say for instance alcohol that gives you a full sense of confidence when you don't need it um or say for instance you drink alcohol because everyone else is drinking alcohol but you don't really feel to drink alcohol um that's an energy cord um to that you're associating um alcohol with having a good time when you don't need to do that for me i can go i'll go out like, raving and i'm sober i'll be dead sh sh um skanking out and i'll be drinking lemonade <laughs> do you know what i'm saying i don't need it my energy is just live like that um so yeah so for any energy cords that no longer serve you go on youtube and type in cord cutting so this can be people places and things and ask, ask you need to call upon arc arc you need to call upon arc Angel Michael, yeah, to help you with the um, um, energy cutting because our angels they can't intervene without your say so, and it's a free will universe. So once you ask them for assistance, they can assist. So um, say, um, I welcome Archangel Michael into my home to vacuum out any um, energy of low vibration and to keep the energy clear or something something that's very similar like that that's what i do anyway um and no badness comes into my yard no bad like no and my, my house the no bad energy just comes to my yard that's it like i'll be saging the shit i don't even need to sage the shit down i'll sage the shit down but my yard's got its own vibe going on so if it don't like you you're not like it, it, it just happened um the next card is indigo and then the card says, the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. So, 
uh, some of you may be indigo children. I'm a fellow indigo. Um, indigos are rebellious and def defiant in nature. We don't like rules, regulations. The system doesn't work for us. Um, so we was born in the 80s and 90s. I heard also the 60s. I'm not sure. Um, but I know a lot of people around my age in the 90s were indigos. So we come to destroy and rebuild. And that's some of our characteristics characteristics as well we like to build things up to destroy to rebuild again um it's just a pattern that we like to do so sometimes it's unhealthy as well um if you're unaware of them patterns like you may get into relationships going all well and you just mash it up and then try to rebuild it and mash it up to a certain degree i'm just using that as an example um and that happens with um things as well outside so jobs you may be going for jobs mashing them up and stuff like that um and indigos, they're very, we're very, um, yeah, we're defensive, defiant, rebellious in nature. Um, yeah, we stand our ground. We're firm, hard-headed, um, st very strong-willed. My daughter's an indigo, and we're very strong-willed as well. So if man don't want to do something, you might as well just give up because I'm not being swayed, and indigos can't be swayed as well. Um, and we're, but but on the flip side, we're very sensitive. Um, so once we get comfortable and start opening up to you, you got us in it. That's what I'm saying. Um, but it also indigos are very um in tune to energy. Um, we're we're born, natural born healers. We're the black sheep. So all of that. So some of you are actually indigos as well, and may not know it. And then the next card is base chakra. So you've got the top chakra and then you've got the base chakra that needs working on at the moment, that needs balancing. Choose only positive thoughts and describe your, and dis only use positive thoughts to describe your home, career and finance at, as your words determine your outcome. So yeah, you're being called to work on your um, base chakra. If you feel like you've been floating of recently, um, you're not grounded, you're all up in your head a lot, it's because you're not grounded and you need to ground that new the new energies in um, because the new energies of are of high vibration. So yeah, we need to ground them new energies in. You can use black tamaline, black obsidian, onyx, um, even uh, clear quartz as, uh, as well to ground the energies in. Um, to ground yourself. You could, the best way to ground is go out and touch Mother Earth, stand on Mother Earth, do gardening, walk on the beach, um, swim in a lake or a sea or river. Um, that's the best way to get yourself grounded and connected to Mother Earth. Um, and to also use your positive thoughts. If you're, and also if you're having a lot of fearful thoughts it means you're ungrounded um because um the root chakra is the base chakra is your survival chakra so that finances um security and um shelter should i say your main survival and food and stuff they're your survival chakras so if you've got a lot of um worry about finances um home and stuff it means you're ungrounded and you need to get grounded and then the last card is um, clear yourself. And then the card says, ask the, ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absor absorbed. So you're being called to clear, clear your energy. Use sage, um, Santa Opolo. I use, I prefer sage. What, um, Santa Opolo more um, chills out the mood. Um, yeah, you're being called to clear your energy because as healers, empaths, light workers, star seeds, um, and then the us lot, us esoteric black sheep weird people, yeah, us nerds, um, the different folk, should I say, the, um, we're not like the muggles, and we tend to absorb energy, so you may walk into a room and start absorbing energy and it's not even yours, and you may carry that, that, and make it yours, so you've been called to clear your energy, and you also, that, you can also do cord cutting, is a, also a form of clearing your energy as well. Um, some of you need to could have a salt bath as well that also helps or spend the, spending time out in nature hugging a tree or something also helps you clear your energy as well but um yeah that's your reading guys um really awesome reading i really like that the so you've got three main chakras to work on the crown um heart and base they're the main chakras so it's like top middle top center and bottom are the main chakras to be worked on at this at this time um, 
that at this period right now anyway but yeah pretty dope reading man i like i like that that was pretty nice reading man and um it's pretty clear it gives you pretty clear guidance so if some of you have been having some um issues or whatever that guidance is very clear um if you've got any questions hit the comments and i can try to answer them to the best of my ability but um yeah, if you like the re video, like, share, subscribe. Don't be shy because I see you guys watching, yeah? But I don't see you guys liking, yeah? And remember to hit the little bell thingy as well. And also, um, if any of you guys are interested in the personal reading, um, I'm going to put my information in the drop-down menu and at the, at the end of the video. Um, you can get in contact with me through um, Instagram or email and if any of you are interested in um energy reiki healing session um same thing send me an email or send me a dm and also make crystal necklaces to help rebalance the chakras as well necklaces and bracelets and anklets so if any of you are interested just send me a dm and we can get you guys hooked up we can get you guys hooked up anyway but um peace love and light tribe and i'm gonna hit you guys up real soon